We've had any number of uh, tragic death cases involving children and also those that are severely injured. Um, we've represented several clients whose children have either been paraplegic or quadriplegic. Um, those cases are particularly challenging because of the needs going forward for the children. Um, many times the children mentally are doing well, but their bodies just won't do what they need them to do. Obviously, paraplegic or quadriplegic, they can't move or move their limbs. And it puts some very special stresses on parents that they wouldn't normally have. Um, what we try to do is, is get our team of, of experts, of professionals, whether they be in the rehabilitation fields, the medical fields, or the academic fields to help and try to assist these families. Many times we, we, we act as counselors for the parents um, as well. We frankly become very close to these families because all you have to do is put yourself in the family's position. If it were your child or your loved one, what type of help would you want? What type of response would you want from your lawyer when they call you and they want to know what's going on in their case or what they can do? In terms of the cases that we've worked on, um, we've had children that have been run over by cars after school um, where roadway signs or crosswalks were done improperly. Um, we've represented children who have been killed on their way home from school as a result of a negligent driver. Um, we've had other children who, for example, were at a, a water skiing camp and there was no warning signs um, at the dock where the, the children water skied. And the first day, the first hour the child got there, the first thing he did was run down to the dock to go jump into the water. What they did is they put a dock in a very shallow area. So the child dove in, hit his head, and became a quadriplegic. The case seems pretty simple because somebody should have warned the child or pulled the child aside knowing that they're children. That's what children do. They run down and they, they jump and do things that we wouldn't expect them to do. Um, but the challenge going forward was how to provide for this child the rest of, of his life. And um, with a settlement we were able to achieve, achieve in that case, we think we were able to do that. For more information, you can contact Colson Hicks Idson at our website, colson.com.